Welcome to the latest instalment of the required practical videos for GCSE Physics. Today's video is all about acceleration. As always, the instructions are downloadable from my web shop. The web address is appearing on your screen right now. In order to do this experiment, we need quite a lot of equipment and it's quite technical to set up. But I'll show you what we've got and talk you through the setup procedure. The starting point for this is the blower. This is connected up to the linear air track. The linear air track has got two light gates above it. The glider has got some amendments to it so that we'll talk those through in a minute. That's then connected via a piece of cotton to a set of masses that are hanging over the end of the bench with a pulley on the end of the air track. Here you can see the masses hanging over our tray of foam so that we don't damage the floor. Masses are connected via the string over the pulley to the glider and there we can see the light gates at the far end of the air track. Here's our glider. It's got a hook in the middle where we've attached the cable for our masses and we've added three lollipop sticks. The first one triggers the starting point for the timer the second one stops the timer and then on the other side this one triggers the light gate to measure the final speed. Our starting speed is always going to be zero meters per second. The light gates that we're using are the B SPIV light gates. These are relatively inexpensive, I think they were about £16 each and they can measure both speed and time. We're going to have the first one here set up to measure speed in meters per second and this one set to record time in seconds. As we're using the BSPIV light gates we don't have them hooked up to a computer so we're going to have to manually calculate the acceleration. We're going to have different forces applied to our glider. The starting speed, the initial speed, which in the acceleration calculation has the symbol U, will always be zero. The final velocity, which has the symbol V in the calculation, we will record here. The time from the light gate we will write down here and then we can calculate our acceleration. Force is measured in newtons, velocity in meters per second, time in seconds and acceleration in meters per second squared. So we make sure that our light gates are set up ready. We hold on to the glider, turn the blower on, and when we're ready, let go of the glider, and it accelerates to the other end. We turn the blower off, and now we can read our results from the light gates. We have a final speed of 1.08 meters per second, and a time of 0.34 seconds. We repeat the experiment but with 0.8 newtons on the mass hanger in order to make sure that the mass of the entire system remains constant we hang our masses that we've taken off onto our glider making sure that we hang them one on either side so that the glider remains balanced. So we set up our light gates again, making sure that the first lollipop stick is right next to the light gate so that it triggers the time immediately. Turn the blower on and let go of the glider. So there you can see we've got a speed of 0.96 meters per second remember this is upside down and a time of 0.38 seconds and we repeat for the rest of our masses so there we have a completed results table now we can calculate the acceleration Remember the formula for acceleration is V minus U divided by T. 
so we can substitute in our numbers. Using our calculator, we get an acceleration of 3.18 meters per second squared. Now following that process, you can work out the rest of the accelerations. And now you can check your results against mine. Now we have our results, we can plot our graph. Remember we're going to have force on the x-axis from 0 to 1, and acceleration on the y-axis, and we'll go up to 3.5. So now we draw the graph. And now we can plot the points. And now we can add our line of best fit. So there we have our graph of force against acceleration. And that concludes the required practical on acceleration. Don't forget all of the instructions are downloadable from my web shop. Web address is appearing here. And it would be fantastic if you could subscribe to Grade Game, my channel, and you'll get all of the other required practicals. And don't forget, you can click on the link here for the playlist of all my other videos. Enjoy, and good luck with your GCSEs.